it going everyone? Try some water here and today I don't know how this vlog is going to happen or what it's going to be about. It's one of those weekends where I got to work. Glad to Cummins. But um, I'm heading to a um, filming spot at the moment and if you haven't seen Monday's video tag will be popping up right now it is the origins on how I came up with uh, trucks and water. I talk about that, about my past and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen it already, it's a, it's a fantastic video. Please watch it. Like I said, Ty will be popping up. So, um, anyways, I have no idea what this this weekend's gonna be about. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I've got a bunch of school stuff I gotta get done. But last week in the Alabama meet was amazing. You are fantastic. Um, all the people I met in Alabama, I can't be any more grateful for meeting all of you and stuff. So if you haven't seen those videos, Ty will be popping up now to part one. There's three parts to those videos. That's how much video footage I've got. But yeah, but it's another great day in East Tennessee. It is, it's a little chilly out. It's about 30, 40 degrees, but the sun's out. Um, it's just a really nice day to be out. How you know that you live in the South? When you get stuck behind tracks. That's in a bunch of country songs, but you know, it's very true in the South, but I wouldn't change it for a thing. You know, I just got off work, and have you ever had one of those days you just couldn't get anything done? Like, you had one task in mind that work that you had to get done, but you couldn't get done because you were pulling 400 different directions? Pretty much how my day went. Not going to complain when the day about went by fast, but still I didn't get that one thing done. But anyways, um, comment down below what was your worst day at work. I want to hear it. Like, no matter what it was, like... Your girlfriend broke up to you during a work day or something happened your boss yelled at you or whatever i want to hear what was your worst day at work comment down below and let's get a discussion going sunday um i didn't really film much yesterday because i hung out with some friends of mine kind of took the day off and caught up with some old friends and stuff like that um but right now i'm at my local toyota dealership just kind of checking out their used section to see um what they've got you know just kind of looking around um, but I do want to check out, it's over here, bad boy right here, 20, let's see here, 2500 HD, let's, let's go look at it, get my headlights on it because, you know, when you got bright ass headlights, you can uh, light up stuff to look at for YouTube. What year is it? 2015 uh, LTZ Crew Cab, so the high-end edition center console with the uh, Allison Dirty Duramax in it, tow mirrors. Heck yeah. I am so down for this truck. It's not the Z71 off-road, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's just the 4x4, but it's a clean truck. It's got stock as a clock. So I could do all the mods I wanted to with it, which that's what I'm looking for. Um, let's see here. How many miles are on it? 37,133. So not even remotely broken in yet. I would take out the grandpa running boards though. I don't like them. Um, the mud flaps actually don't look bad on this year of truck. I like the mud flaps. I do wish it was the LTZ packs. So I had a little bit more of the off-road pack on it. Like a felt. I don't understand that but clean looking truck i mean that would be an awesome tow rig for the channel if i could afford it i mean that would be freaking baller so i gotta come clean about something the uh k1500 did withstand damage down at the alabama truck meet um i didn't notice it the drive down it happened on the drive down i noticed it the next morning when i went to go to the meet so if you guys prepare for it i don't know if you all can handle this because it's a pretty substantial amount of damage to the truck that I've been hiding from you all. So I'm gonna show it to you. As you can see, my bug guard has died. Um, we'll show you the other side so you kinda see what I'm looking at. What happened was, and I'm not sure exactly what went on, but between, I think I was like on the line of Georgia, like almost in Alabama, or I just passed Georgia into Alabama, and I heard a whack sound like really loud crack and it's like nine o'clock at night and of course i'm just jamming out to my music um taylor swift if any of you any of you, any of you interested in what i jam out to i'm just kidding i don't jam out to that um so yeah that happened um and i didn't know what it was well apparently the only thing i knew was a semi truck in front of me the only thing i can think of that would have done it was a rock shot from the semi 
and literally took it clean off. I mean, that is almost a clean cut right there. Completely tore off my bug shields. I have to get a new one of these out of this to the mod list. But I am very lucky and fortunate it was just that because, like, just literally four inches lower could have hit my light. It could have hit my marker light. It could have hit that. God forbid it went in between the uh, grill slot and hit my radiator. Then I'm really screwed because I'm literally, like, four hours from home. But yeah, the K1500 did withstand some damage down in uh, Alabama, Georgia. Granted, it was just a $40 part. I know, I mean, that's a lot of damage, guys. I'm very fortunate, and I thank God for that one. That didn't hit anything vitally important. But, um, so, so far, that's that's been the only issue I've seen. Um, of course, the truck is completely filthy. I haven't been able to wash it in a couple, in about a week or so, week and a half. So, i got to wash it. Definitely clean up the interior really soon. I'll probably do that during Thanksgiving break from college. Because God forbid I have any free time anymore. Um, so that's been going on. So, yeah. I mean, other than that, other than that just horrible damage. Um, that's what that's what happened down in Alabama. Okay, guys. So today, I'm going to um, clean out the interior of my truck. Haven't done that in a month. Which for some of you is probably like, oh my gosh, it's not that long. But people who actually know me know I don't go more than usually a week without cleaning the interior of my truck. Um, this past month has just been kind of crazy. Um, just trying to get stuff done and traveling and stuff like that. So, finally giving the old girl the attention she needs because it's kind of getting gross in here. So, I'm going to wipe it down. I'm kind of going to go step by step on how I do this. That way, you all, um, if you all want to follow the similar pattern I do, um, you can. But this is kind of how I do it. So step one, remove all your floor mats. So I got all my floor mats laid out. And then step two is going to be, you know, vacuum out the uh, carpet area of your truck. vacuum me I don't know if they'll pick it up on camera but there's some stains right here for like mud or something and a little bit like looks like a juice stain or like something I, for, I don't know but other than that the carpet's pretty clean but these stains what I like to use to get them out is the turtle wax power out carpet and mat cleaner is a heavy duty clean it um it really gets in the fibers and gets it out you use this part right here for a scrubbing pad um Directions, just vacuum loose dirt, shake well, and spray evenly on carpet. Rub foam into carpet using the uh, patented brush, blah, 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 blah. Remove the easy scrub by pressing the button on the back of your hands. And wipe up with a clean cloth. So basically, that's all you really do. So I'm going to get a clean cloth. Then we'll go through it, wipe it all up, spray it, wipe it all up, and we'll, we'll go from there. I got my clean cloth right here. So what we're going to do is on the areas... Oh crap, well, that wasn't good. Oh my gosh, this actually really foams. Dang. So. Okay, take that off. Get the brush in there. Really get into the fibers. Guys, so if, you, if your truck smells like it's got odors from all the stains in it, this works wonders on that too. Get the clean cloth. And basically, that stain's almost completely gone. Wow. That worked out really well. Worked out amazingly well. I got rid of a lot. And I cleaned the blue thing from the rag. They like to shred. A little bit of a stain going on right here. It's like a food stain type deal right in that center crease of the seat. So I'm going to use their Turtle Wax Power Out Upholstery Cleaner. So I'm going to get in there, spray it down, then I'm going to wipe it up. All of the stains out are from that from the carpet, so I'm going to work on that real quick. So, let's see how this does. Kind of let it soak in there for a little bit. Got to scrub it out. Get down into the grooves of it. Get your towel. Oh yeah, that got it all out. Look at that. Yeah. Make sure you don't scrub too hard, especially if you have an older model truck. Um, that way you don't rip the seat or anything. But to get a good clean 
thing out of your seat. That way you can protect your seats and make them last longer and look newer. It's also good to, uh, for resale value too. If you ever want to resell your vehicle, make it keep it as clean as possible. That way you don't have to super clean it when you sell it. Look at that. That's all gone. Yeah. Well, I feel freaking retarded because you can apparently take off the scrub heads off of it. I've been scrubbing with the thing on it. You know, you live and you learn, but I feel absolutely stupid about that. So take the scrub heads off before you spray it, guys. It makes it a lot easier to clean everything. Now we're going to move on to the pa driver's side and start cleaning on that. So this is what happens. I don't know if y'all can see because the light, but there's a coffee stains right through here because I brought one of my buddy's Yeti cups home, forgot it at work, and it spilled all of my truck. So... I'm gonna clean that up, so let's we'll see how really good this stuff is. So we're gonna apply it. Make sure we get it all coated. Let that soak in for a while. That way you can really get into the nooks and crannies of it and get it all out and then we'll wipe it up. I'm about done cleaning the truck, guys. I'm gonna end it right here because I'm gonna try to get it done real quick before the sun goes down. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I'm very sorry it's a short vlog. It's been a long week. Um, just trying to get stuff done and whatnot. But if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All of you have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.